Acapella World, Deke Sharon here, coming to you live from Camp Acapella on a sunny day. It's quiet because everybody's in their ensembles and their aca majors making music. So I get to tell you a little something about acapella, and this one was a viewer question. Uh, uh, oh. Let's see what it says. Hi, Deke. My acapella group is super focused on getting notes accurate, but they're super boring. Can you make a video on why singing with energy and passion is important? They won't listen to our director, but they will listen to you. Thanks. I'm sorry, energy's just not my thing. I don't really, <laughs> lying. Okay, I know exactly what to do. So, are you ready? Let's do this. Number one, nobody listens to the most in-tune music they own. Think of it this way. You've had a long day, you're exhausted, you just want to put your earbuds in and listen to something. Do you go like, oh, I just need to listen to the most technically precise music I own? <clears throat> you do not. You listen to the music that makes you feel something. You listen to music that you love. That love is the whole point of the music. That emotional connection that you have is the whole point of the music. Number two, music isn't about precise notes any more than books are about grammar. The precision is the grammar, the emotion is the story. You choose books because they have great stories. You don't pick up a novel like, I really wanna read this book because I heard it's spelled perfectly and it has really great grammar. No, no. You choose art because of the way that it makes you feel. And ultimately when you're creating art, you need to do the same thing. It's not that the technical elements don't matter, it's that they're not the point. And when you're on stage, if you're focusing on the technical stuff, and not that emotional connection, you're basically, it's like conjugating verbs on stage. Why bother? It's not, nobody wants this. Number three, choral music has a big chip on its shoulder. What, I, don't, I haven't seen a chip. What's, what are you talking about? This is what I mean. In conservatories, in music education programs, in, in music in general in the classical world, it's often said in, in classical music circles there are musicians, and then there are singers. The assumption is that people who play instruments are true rounded musicians and singers are people with nice voices who kind of sing the melody. It's complete crap, but what are we gonna do? What we're gonna do is not fall into the trap that you find so many choral directors in, which is to try to prove themselves against the instrumentalists, they end up focusing their music program on precision. They're constantly drilling notes and rhythms and tuning, and they make their music all about trying to be as precise as possible. But this is a problem. It's a problem because of the point that I made number one. Nobody goes to hear music because it's perfect. They go to hear music because of how it makes them feel. So, if the whole point of music is to make people feel a certain way, and we have so many people in choral music focusing on precision, there's a big disconnect. And I gotta be honest, that's why a lot of people don't go see choral music concerts. They're big during the holidays when it's holiday music, but then a lot of the rest of the time it's empty out there. The only people in the audience often are people who are friends of the people, and like, why don't people go hear choral music? It's awesome. They don't go hear it because it doesn't make them feel a certain way. Don't let your group fall into the same trap where you're focused entirely on the technical aspects of music. It doesn't work. And number four, why sing if you're bored? Why? Because you did something well, but you didn't. You didn't change people's moods. You didn't open their hearts. You just made organized sound. Like, think of it this way. You could paint rows and rows of tiny perfect boxes on a canvas and every single one of them is perfect. Is it art? Does it make anybody feel anything? Or is it just perfect? If it's just perfect, it's not perfect because it's not art. It's precision, and nobody cares fundamentally, emotionally about precision. They care about humanity and connection. So if that's the problem, what do we do? Deke, help, what do we do? Get out and sing for people. Get out there. Show up at a farmer's market on a Saturday unannounced and just start singing. Go out to a, your, your school campus center at noon and just Start singing. Learn how to draw a crowd. See what people find compelling. Realize that when you're on stage, it's not about your pursuit of excellence. It's about your connecting with the people that you're singing with and the audience. That's the whole game right there. It's about sharing something powerful and compelling with other people. And the energy you get back will more than make up for it. I promise, the naysayers in your group may think this is crazy, but they will learn, they will realize that that energy they're feeling from the audience changes everything and they will become believers. And if not, find a new group. I mean, if there's a group of people and they're only really interested in, in singing perfect music and being perfect and everything has to be perfect, that's not music. That's turning 
organize sound into some kind of an Olympic sport. Look how high I can jump. Look at how precise I can be. There's got to be an emotional element to what they're doing, and there's got to be a connection with the audience, or else you've missed the entire point. And remember, the opposite of love isn't hate, it's indifference. If you've got some people who get all worked up emotionally about your performance and they didn't love it or they're feeling something, they're feeling something. Indifference is when people stay away and they don't care. That's what you do not want from a performance ever. Worst compliment you can get from anybody in a performance, as far as I'm concerned, is, that was nice. Ugh, you don't want that. That's like what grandma says when you brought her a drawing when you're five years old, and she's like, oh, honey, that's nice. That's, that's a platitude. That's not an expression of interest. Love or hate, much better than, that was nice. Don't be nice. Be compelling, be honest, be emotional, draw people in, aggravate them, fill their hearts, and leave them thinking and feeling from your concerts. That's real music. Full stop. I hope this was helpful. If you have any thoughts on this, please post them below and let me know what you think about this whole idea because it matters a lot to me. Maybe you have feelings on it as well. Anyway, see you next time. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -ba -da.